empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Bruce Lee was an extraordinary person. Everything he did in life acquired its own character. The great master studied dancing as intensely as he did martial arts, and he danced very well. In 1958, at the age of 18, he won the Hong Kong Cha-Cha-Cha Championship. Bruce was also a great boxer. In the same year, he also won a boxing championship. But as we know, he became a real professional in the field of Chinese martial arts. Until now, years after the legend's death, many still criticize and doubt his fighting skills and training methods, believing that he was just a good actor and nothing more. But alas, in our world, it is always like that and there will always be people who will contradict in spite of the enormous amount of information and evidence available. But in spite of all the above, Bruce succeeded both in staged on-screen fights and in real life. Today, we'll talk not only about the legendary one-inch punch, but also view in slow motion the super speed of Bruce Lee's blows which he demonstrated at various competitions and seminars. Bruce Lee could deliver a blow in five-tenths of a second from a distance of one meter. That is one-twentieth of the time it takes for a person to blink. And in eight-tenths of a second, he could strike from a meter and a half. The standard camera, shooting at 24 frames per second, could not cope with the task of recording Bruce's blows. His strikes were not visible. In one frame, Bruce is seen standing. And the next frame, he is still standing, but his opponent is writhing in pain. So during the first takes of the Green Hornet TV show, Bruce appears motionless as he magically scatters his rivals, which did not suit the producers. While usually the video of a fight scene is accelerated for dynamic action, the directors asked Bruce to fight slower, then filmed him at a higher speed of 32 frames per second, and then slowed the film down. Even so, the final product was very blurry. The reaction and speed of the famous martial arts master and film actor were phenomenal. For example, Lee managed to replace a 10-cent coin in a man's hand before he could squeeze his fingers. He tossed a couple of grains of rice and caught them with chopsticks in the air and punched a hole in a full can of Coca-Cola with his finger. As Lee Hayward Nishioka, Lee's friend, remembered Bruce's forte, the one-inch punch, which he could send guys who exceeded Bruce's weight by 45 kilograms into a five-meter flight. The athlete gave the blow such strength that opponents flew to the side and bounced off a wall. Bruce Lee holds such world records as the most consistent knockout at 18.6 seconds, the fastest knockout from a punch, 3.2 seconds, the fastest KO kick, 86 miles per hour, and the fastest knockout, 1.2 seconds. But now let's talk a little more about the legendary one-inch punch. This blow is possible thanks to the skillful use of the hips and the flow of energy into the strike. A clenched fist is held in an upright position. During the strike, the fist turns sharply to the top. This vertical strike is used only in melee, 10 centimeters or less from the target. If you try to throw this blow from a long distance, it will be weak when it comes in contact with the enemy's body. There are, of course, other ways to increase the strength of the energy delivered. Lee would make uniform movements, but in reality he trained by pressing his hands to a stick in order to develop the flow of energy. But fortunately, this flow of energy can be practiced anywhere you can exert pressure on one or both hands. Many of those who carry out a one-inch strike are able to knock over an adversary, but they do this not because of the blow, but with the help of a push. By pushing the enemy you can of course drop them, 
but you cannot damage them. This should distinguish the blow from the shock. When you strike, your strength is concentrated in the moment of contact. And when you push, your strength only begins at the moment of contact and is usually lost when you fully extend your arm. The strength comes from the rotation of the hips, and when pushing, it usually comes from the hind leg, which pushes the body forward. There is no need to hit while swinging to the top. The punch must be aimed straight, and the fist must be squeezed a second before striking the target. To relay power to the blow, you must jerk your other hand sharply in the direction of the body at the moment you touch. If you take a step to carry out the blow, then your fist must reach the target before your foot hits the floor. Otherwise, your power will go into the floor instead of giving strength to the blow. The hips and shoulders must begin to act before the arm so that the punch is fast, strong, and accurate. Although the movement of the legs gives additional force to the blow, you can knock over your opponent without moving in front of them and without tension if you correctly carry out the blow. The strength of the impact depends on balance and choosing the right moment of impact. Without this, if you hit too soon or too late, you can lose strength. Many theorists agree that such striking power is not only the result of training, but also an innate ability. And now I suggest you look at one of the scenes from the off-screen footage of the movie Enter the Dragon, where Bruce and his understudy practiced the production of the fight scene. During the scene, the understudy became distracted and it could have ended tragically. The understudy was lucky. Bruce Lee stopped his crushing blow. Let's look again in slow motion. Still too fast. Let's try again in super slow motion. Incredible speed. Even super slow motion is not enough. I hope this video will be useful for many as well as answer a number of existing questions. Press the like button, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell so you'll be the first to know when a new exciting video is released. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.